Rumex, Ace Tosella. Nickname for this plant is Blood Spill. This is part one, and in part two, I'll be sharing a mnemonic or memory technique to help you commit to memory the most distinguishing characteristics of this plant. For identifying purposes, be sure to watch all of part one so that part two is understandable. This is a weedy plant. As you can see, the flowers are reddish. That will apply only to the female flowers. The male flowers are a yellow-green color. The flowering stems occur occasionally, and as you can see, they have something of a reddish tint to them. These flowering stems are slender. They grow 4 to 24 inches tall. They do also occasionally branch near the top and they are erect. These flowering stems, when they do occur, grow from out of a rosette of leaves around formation of leaves. The picture you see here is of a male plant. If you find one, you found them both. The nickname, as I said earlier, of this plant is blood spill. That is an indication of the reddish flowers. But once you find a number of reddish flowers in the distance, if the other identifying factors are in place, within a few feet you'll also find the yellow-green male flowers when and if the flowering stems are available. Now these rosettes grow from four to six inches across. You can see the rosette here as well. gives us an, uh, an example of scale, the size of these uh, stems. The reddish flowers from a distance. Now the leaves are arrow shaped, have the shape of an arrowhead. Now what distinguishes this particular plant from other sorrows is that the two leaf lobes here at the bottom, they point out to the side. The leaves and the leaf stems can be reddish in color. The leaves are one to four inches long. That does include the leaf stem. They have smooth edges. They have no teeth. They're smooth around the edge. As you can see, there is also a taproot. There's a taproot shown here, but at the same time, there can be some, or there are some, rhizomes a rhizomous root system. The flowers here on the right represent the female flowers and those here on the left represent the male flowers. But again, if you see blood spilled from a distance representing the red 
ish flowers that draws you to the area and only if then you see the arrowhead shaped leaflets you'll know then likely you'll have the blood spell plant again the flowering stems occur occasionally and they will be slender they're quite erect and up to two feet long now from the flowering stem leaves can occur but they will likely not be arrowhead shaped they can be more linear in shape reddish flowering stem Now the uh, leaves that do occur on the flowering stem usually have no stems, no leaf stems that is. That is that they will be attached directly to the stem as you see in the examples here. Whereas the leaves which developed from the rosette they clearly have long stems or leaf stems as you see here there are no petals but there are six sepals The sepals are initially green, but they become red or reddish brown while the flowers are in bloom. And they are about the same length of the fruit, but they do not totally enclose the fruit or the seeds. This is a better picture of the sepals here. developing something of a cup form and within this cup that is not completely closed or completely enclosed is the seed which is in Akin. I'll get to that later. One of the leaves again arrow head shaped bottom two lobes pointed out to the side rosette of leaves another rosette this rosette of leaves are obviously reddish in color which can occur now this is the Akin the seed of the fruit and Akin is essentially a one seeded shell like a sunflower seed where the outside of these seeds are shiny they're golden brown they're three angled and 
And like a sunflower seed, there's a single seed inside of the shell. This is the seed here. And the seed is as uh, referred to as being loose or inside of the hollow shell, not attached to the walls. Now the edible parts of this plant are the leaves, the roots, and the seeds. To learn how to prepare these parts for edibility purposes, log on to survivalplantsmemorycourse.com and click on Rumex Acetola. And there you'll find a section called Methods of Preparation. You'll find the methods of preparation there. This has been part one, and in part two I'll be sharing a mnemonic or memory technique to help you commit to memory the most distinguishing characteristics of this plan for identifying purposes. Thank you for watching.